How are you everybody? Um, just a short look through the bookmarks today. Uh, we had an incident here with Simon Harris, so I'll go to that one first. Um, two of them actually had, it's two, one's a bit longer. So, he's, he's, I think it's in Castlebar, I think he's in Castlebar. And he, he bumps into Enoch Brooks family. Check this out. Now, I thought it was weird because I thought the guard pushed up, but you can see here with the with the fist up, right, and he's trying to he's trying to outshout the woman who's saying, "What about Enoch Buck?" And he keeps talking about this uh, MP or TD, should I say, that's uh, that's running in that area. And he's like, "Oh, he's he's, a, he's an amazing!" And then when he goes to get really behind it, I think the guard actually pushes him. So watch this guard here. Oh, you would slow it down, watch, slow it down to full, half the speed, right? You see him? The way he tries to get in her face and he's an incredible TD. But check this out. See the guard pushes him. The guard that pushes him. What have you to say about Enoch Oh very strange. Yes, you could say someone pushed into the guard and the guard pushed into him or right, yeah whatever but it was more so see the way he was trying to ouch ouch shout your woman talking about Enoch Burke and then as soon as he got really behind pushing the other uh, TD he uh, the guard immediately bumps into him sorry go on now this is only happening all this sort of stuff is happening right i know with the enoch borg thing that was pretty that's pretty big as well because they're condemning that man for not converting you know but they're not it's it's everybody in the country that's feeling like this you know and it's only some some people out there that have the balls to actually go up and say this, say things like this to the man's face, you know? Why are people so bad for saying stuff to these people's faces of what they're actually guilty of, which is destroying Ireland and replacing us and replacing the Irish spirit, you know? This is nothing. This is minuscule. Being shouted at going there, pay me six figure sum and you can bleed and tarn fed me every Sunday in the square or outside the GPO, whatever you want to do to me for that money. You know, afraid of bleeding words, these people. Um, there's another one here where he's walking down, but I tell you, man's coming. Look, there's nothing to say. Well, I don't think that's really interesting. There's nothing to say, Simon. What about you saying, Simon, about Enoch Burke? In prison. In prison for that, see you, because he won't give up his Christian beliefs. Well, that's what you're saying. In prison. There's not many people waiting to see you. Sorry, <laughs> and now he's he's in this uh, ice cream shop or whatever it is, bakery, and he's ignoring reality. Basically, he's he's in there all happy as if everything's fine. They're all smiling. We're in the cafe, but outside, obviously, is is what the reality of things, you know. But it's bad. You notice their attitude changes. You notice these people like Harris when they go into somewhere inside somewhere, you know. That they just change up their complete persona, everything, attitude, they snap out of it. That's a trait of a psychopath, how they can just switch like that. Very nice to see you. Yeah. 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 Sorry. Uh, how are you all getting on? Thank you so much. Hi, yeah. Louise. We can't get out of there quick enough. Keep bumping off. Sorry, man. Nothing to say. We're all from you today. I think that's one of Borg's sisters. There. What do you know what you can say about Enoch Burke? Simon, 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 Simon,
running away when he's asked a question. Just watch him how he can run away. This is the Taoiseach of our country. This is the Taoiseach of our country running away. He won't tell me what he thinks about him. Sorry about this man. Yes. Running away. Running away. Running away. This is the Taoiseach of our country running away. It's a new day. He can't answer a question. He can't answer a question. They'll always run away. Oh, there's McEntee. McEntee was out and all. It's way to just rolling them down the street, isn't it? But they won't be able to walk down the street, like I keep saying. Now, this one here, this is about uh, Noel Boylan. He's running in the EU. You know, don't want to blare straight away. Like, um, so, Noel Boylan, yeah, he's running in the EU election. He's, a, he's just a radio presenter here in Ireland. But he talks, he has a lot of open debate on, you know, uh, the people that they're bringing through over the border and stuff. So he's quite fair in that sense. Now, I do find that he is, he, he acts like a bit of a gatekeeper in a way, because if you say, if you say it, things that some people might think will have to be harsh, you'll find that Noel seems to be down that line. Now, they're doing this show as if to like show that he's he's opposition to them, right? So listen to this here. But first of all, I'd like to add a fourth D to Niall's collection there, which is delusional because he is delusional if he thinks that he can go to Europe and reduce the numbers of people through EU legislation coming to Ireland in the international protection system. Well, the D's that should well, inform all Let policy speak. making is dignity and decency are what should be informing the policy making for international protection here. So she's basically saying, oh, there's, she's got the, she's got, of course, she's got the obligatory uh, badge on her. Is she the only one? No, he has it. I bet you Regina has one. I don't know if that's one or not. No, it definitely doesn't have one. But that badge, you all know that badge. Um, she's what she's saying basically. You can't go to Europe and demand things for your country. Basically, that's what she's saying. Uh, Europe control everything, so Noel's delusional if he thinks he can go over there and actually change them. Yeah, so easy to read these people. Uh, there was one more. Uh, this is um, this is true torts. In I know there are three different topics here, but I just thought I'd do a video on three of them. Uh, true torts, one on one UK. Give them a follow. Um, I love these odd and videos are great, you know. But have a listen to this. This is uh, security, two security lads for one of these uh, iPass centres. Plantation centres in England. You've got yours backwards. Show us your badge and we'll go. Sort of <clears throat> Show us your badge. Please and move. He's not even got a badge. Please and move. He's not even got a badge and you've got yours backwards. Please and move. You work for proof. Sorry, sorry. Yeah, but you should show badge so we know who we're dealing with. No. They don't show badge. And that's another concerning thing that these people haven't shown their ID. They're not showing their ID when they come into the countries. And then when they're acting as security, they're not even following the law when it comes to showing their IDs. That's like basically giving someone power and that they don't have to identify themselves. It's like giving Garda power and they don't have to wear a number or they don't have to tell you their name or their number. Think of it like that. And they're foreign. How long was your security course? I'm not supposed to tell you. You're not supposed to tell me. <laughs> to <laughs> the way they say it. <laughs> I tell you the truth, if... um. I, know, I, should, I should know your real name by now, but fair play, man. Uh, catching these out, and they, like you don't even have to really say that much. They just, if you ask the right question, they slip over their own words. Supposed to tell me? Is that what they said? Come on, one minute side. Please go in move. That side. No inside. Outside. Please, the public. No, it's a public property. It's a private party. Private party. Private property. It's a private party in there. Property. It? It's a private property. Okay, well, you show your badge like you promised please to. Please, sir, move. You promised you'd show your badge. Yep, yeah, please, sir, move. Come on. Yeah, we've got a move. Well, honestly, give, give the artists in the UK a follow. Uh, True Towards 101. Joe Vlogs is another one. Um, DJ Media or MJ Media. One of the other. But once you find one, you'll, you'll, find, you'll come across the others. But fair play to these lads, like, you know. Showing you what, where they're, how they're putting the plantations in. 
Now, who's... In Ramadan, two incidents happened. Sorry about that. The Imam. Right? This is the way he says about uh, LGBT. Um, and I think, as Muslims, we really need to reflect on that. The first incident happened in Ireland, where two people were killed. Two people that are from a particular LGBT community, they were killed. As Muslims, we do not agree, we do not condone, and we do not support the lifestyle. Simple as that. And there is no if and but. If somebody tells me, oh, you don't support our lifestyle, it means you are against human rights, I would say, listen, I don't support you in the way that you, that you want to live your life. That's your life, you can do whatever you like, but you cannot force me to believe that all you're doing is right. Now, it's probably about the only thing I agree. You can't, they can't force us to agree and, uh, you know, address them the proper way and all this. Because that's just... Who do they think they are? Um, but that's, this is the guy that faked a, a hit on himself in Ireland. Uh, I just thought then four videos were quite interesting.